thrombocytosis. The definition of thrombocytosis simply means increased level of the platelets in the blood or a disorder in which the body produces too many platelets or thrombocytes which play an important role in blood clotting. The types of thrombocytosis, we have two types of thrombocytosis. One is reactive thrombocytosis which is caused by an underlying conditions in the body such as an infection and the second one is essential thrombocytosis which is mainly related to the blood and bone marrow disorder. The pathogenesis of essential thrombocytosis is mainly related to genetic causes and it could be due to overproduction of erythrobiotin or mutation in either of erythrobiotin receptors or jack tyrosine kinase enzyme and finally due to other regulatory pathways controlling platelet production. So let's talk more about the pathogenesis of essential thrombocytosis. So the first one was uh, thrombocytosis due to overproduction of thrombobiotin, and the mutations act by, uh, by augmenting the efficiency of translation of thrombobiotin messenger RNA, as we see in this uh, figure. So uh, translation of thrombobiotin messenger RNA is specifically inhibited by the presence of a conserved upstream operating rate in the five position of untrans untranslated region. The thrombobiotin mutation disrupt the inhibitory upstream operating frame and thereby relieve the physiological block that the upstream operating frame exerts on thrombobiotin translation, so resulting in ever an overproduction of thrombobiotin. As a result of this, the thrombobiotin will increase in the blood and will cause thrombocytosis. Now, the thrombocytosis caused by mutations in the thrombobiotin receptors, as I uh, mentioned before. The mutation is mainly in the myeloperplatin leukemia protein, which localizes in the cell surface. So, the mutation is uh, by exchanging acetylene in position 505 in this uh, picture uh, with an aspergine. So, as a result, there will be more uh, signaling release and uh, the thrombobiotin level will be elevated in the blood. As a uh, consequence, the platelet or the thrombocyte will be increased in the blood. About the thrombocytosis associated with mutations in JAK2 tyrosine kinase, the erythrobiotin receptors, as well as myeloproflatin leukemia and the granulocyte chronic stimulating factor receptors, they uh, transmit signal by the JAK2 tyrosine kinase enzyme. So any mutations in the gene that coding this uh, enzyme will lead to gain of functions. As a result, there will be a hyperproliferation of the three corresponding lineage and frequently manifest as polycythemia vera with erythrocytosis, thrombocytosis, and neutrophilia. The last thing about pathogenesis is other regulatory pathways controlling platelet production. In 30 to 40 patients with erythrocytosis or primary myelofibrosis, and also in 80 to 90 of degrees with hereditary thrombocytosis, the disease causing gene remains unknown. And it's likely that the genes mutated in these patients may be or may modulate or bypass the effects of the K players, thrombobiotin, myeloperfractal leukemia, and jack 2 tyrosine kinase, which plays an important role in the pathway of platelet production. Now the classification of thrombocytosis. The thrombocytosis is classified into three things. Reactive thrombocytosis, or some people call it secondary thrombocytosis, familial thrombocytosis, and the last thing is clonal thrombocytosis. Reactive thrombocytosis. It is the most common cause of thrombocytosis, and the most frequent underlying causes are tissue damage. It could be due to major surgery, infections, cancer, and even chronic inflammation. And the reactive thrombocytosis is driven by elevated indigenous levels of thrombobiotin, interleukin-6, and cytokines, um, catecholamines. And these things may be produced in inflammatory, infectious, or neoplastic conditions, also in situation of stress. Now the other part, which is the familiar thrombocytosis, it is uh, an autosomal dominant disorder in which a gain of function, mutation in thrombopoietin gene, leads to overproduction of thrombopoietin and mark elevation of its plasma level. The familial thrombocytosis is genetically heterogeneous disorder. The third class, which is the clonal thrombocytosis. It is a myeloproliferative disorder, which is a a group of related disorders of the hematopoietic stem cells. It does not 
occur exclusively in essential thrombocythemia. It may also occur in other myeloproliferative disorders, especially polycythemia vera. It may be associated with the myelodysplastic syndrome, which is characterized by dilation of the long arm of the chromosome 5 and is one of the so-called mixed myelodysplastic and myeloproliferative syndromes. Now, the elevated platelet count is in essential uh, thrombocythemia and other myeloproliferative disorders is referred to as clonothrombocytosis. Signs and symptoms of essential thrombocytosis. Most patients do not experience any symptoms of an increased platelet count. When symptoms do appear, they can include skin bruising, bleeding from various sites such as nose, mouth, gums, stomach, and intestinal tract. Abnormal blood clotting can also occur, leading to stroke, heart attack, and unusual clots in the blood vessels of the abdomen. Primary thrombocytosis is a potential cause of thrombophilia. Secondary thrombocytosis rarely cause thrombotic complication. Laboratory diagnosis. Full blood count with peripheral smear should be ordered as part of the initial evaluation. If thrombocytosis is reported in the initial study, it should be confirmed by repeat testing and examination of the peripheral blood smear. There will be an increase in platelet count. The peripheral blood smear may show immature cells like myelocytes or beta myelocytes. There will be large platelet and of course there will be nuclear fragments in the red blood cells which is found in case of reactive thrombocytosis. The serum ferritin is done to exclude iron deficiency and any other secondary cause of thrombocytosis. If there was low serum ferritin levels, this indicates iron deficiency, which is a cause of reactive thrombocytosis. C-reactive protein test and erythrocyte sedimentation rate test and fibrinogen are done to exclude chronic inflammation and are done after full blood count. They are all normal and essential thrombocytosis and they are all increased in case of reactive thrombocytosis. Bone marrow biopsy is indicated if there was evidence of thrombocytosis in blood count and there are no secondary cause to explain the elevated blood count. In case of thrombocytosis, there will be megakaryocytic hyperplasia and the reticulin fibers may be increased. Genus kinase 2 mutation testing by real-time quantitative reverse transcription PCR of peripheral blood. If positive, it will help establish diagnosis of myeloproliferative disorder and it is 50% of patients with essential thrombocytosis have JAK2 mutations. And the last test, which is the BCR, ABL, fluorescent in situ hybridization of bone marrow, it will be negative for essential thrombocytosis and positive for gene mutation seen in chronic myeloid leukemia. Now the treatment. The primary treatment of secondary thrombocytosis should address the underlying cause of thrombocytosis. In general, there is no treatment indicated to directly reduce platelet count. Aspirin may be considered to minimize the rare development of stroke or thrombosis. Antiplatelet agents, which inhibit platelet function by inhibiting the platelet cyclooxygenase system. In emergencies, platelet freezes is useful to achieve rapid decrease in platelet count. The avoidance of splenectomy is indicated because it can markedly increase the platelet count. About prognosis, thrombocytosis is sometimes described as a slowly progressive disorder with long asymptomatic periods. 
marked by thrombotic or hemorrhagic events. However, well-documented medical regimens can reduce and control the number of platelets, which reduce the risk of this thrombotic or hemorrhagic events. The lifespan of a well-controlled thrombocytosis person is well within the expected range for, for a person of similar age but without thrombocytosis.